Well, hello. Today's video is going to be about some back to school outfit inspiration for you guys. And I know you're probably like, Kate, girl, school doesn't start for like a month. For me, it's a month and a half. Why are you, why are you reminding us? Guys, I just wanna be prepared. And for those of you who are thinking of going, getting some new clothing for back to school, I definitely recommend checking out Coretta, which is an online thrift store with so many cool clothes that I'm going to be sporting when I get back to school. And it's very easy to navigate and you can put in specific sizes, specific colors of clothing that you want. It's just very easy to find what you're looking for. And I'm trying to make a conscious effort to avoid shopping fast fashion for this back to school season and primarily shop secondhand and ThreadUp makes that a lot easier. If you guys are thinking of doing the same thing or if you want to check out ThreadUp just in general, you can use my code Kate for 40% off your order. And I'll show you guys a few of the outfits that are put together for back to school and I hope you enjoy the video. And I also wanted to say thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. This button up is thread up, but the brand is Buck Mason. And the estimated retail price was $76, but the thread up price was $24.99. And then this skirt is also from thread up. The estimated retail price was $36, and then the thread up price was $13.99. And then as for my beautiful Bagolini bag, yeah, it's from thread up, but the brand is Bagolini. And the estimated retail price is $94, whereas the thread up price was $31.99. But this is perfect because it fits my laptop, and like that's literally all I need. And I just Take it to school. This is the first outfit, and I'll move on to the next one. So here's the next outfit. This dress and this bag are from ThreadUp. This dress is like literally so cute. The brand is actually Aritzia, and I, when I found this on the website, I was like, damn. Like the retail price on Aritzia for this dress was like around 150, whereas the ThreadUp price was $35.99. And so I was like, what a steal. And then this bag, which is super cute. It's from ThreadUp, but the brand is Bagolini. It's like all, literally almost new. And the retail price was $94, whereas the product price was $34.99. So this next outfit is entirely thread up other than the shoes. We got this super cute sweater, which is from thread up. The brand is J. Crew. And the estimated retail price is $84, whereas the thread up price was $22.99. It's super cute, very warm and comfy. I was looking for a brown sweater for like literally the longest time and I found it, so that's great. And then the skirt, I have so many plaid skirts. I love these plaid skirts. They have so many of these like on ThreadUp. This one is from ThreadUp, but the brand is Ann Taylor. And the estimated retail price was $117, whereas the ThreadUp price was $20.99. So here is the next outfit and it's very cute, very casual. The vest is from ThreadUp, but the brand is Cuddle Duds, I think is what it's called. The estimated retail price of the sweater was $51, whereas the ThreadUp price was $23.99. And then as for this skirt, it is from ThreadUp, but the brand is Banana Republic. The estimated retail price was $64, whereas the ThreadUp price was $15.99. And yeah, that's this outfit. Okay, guys, so here's the next outfit. Am I wearing boots? Yes. Would I wear this to school? Yes. Because I kind of want to start to have more elevated outfits that are a bit less casual. Like, I feel like it's fun to dress up sometimes. And I don't know, I would definitely wear this to school. And it's really cute. This bag is super cute because the outfit is very simple, but then I have like a statement bag. So this bag is from ThreadUp. Yeah, it's super cute. It was $30.99 and it says like assorted brands, but the estimated retail price is about $65. And this skirt is also from ThreadUp, but the brand is Banana Republic, and the estimated retail price is $70, whereas the ThreadUp price was $10.99. But I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the outfits, and yeah. And again, for those of you who wanna take a look on ThreadUp, wanna shop on ThreadUp, 
You can use my code Kate for 40% off your first order. Now let's move on to the outfits. Here's an outfit. A black tank top, white shirt, and jeans. Nice. Okay, here's the next one. I love wearing button-up shirts. I love it. So button-up shirt, tank top, and jeans. Nice little combo right there. How fun. Next up, we got the mega jorts. These are so awesome. I love, they're not jorts. I don't know why I said jorts. Jean skirt and strange sweater. Gotta love that look. I love silly sweaters with animals on it. Oh my God, is she wearing a shirt? Where did her shirt go? Typical camo joke. Please laugh or don't. Next up, plaid skirt with a button up. Don't really know what else to say. I like this outfit. Casual, cute, good for back to school. Next outfit. Gotta love very long cargo shorts. My favorite fashion piece, especially with an oversized baggy tee and a long sleeve. What a look. Great. Boom. Next outfit. I love the color pink and orange. I mean, that's not orange. That is green. Why did I say orange? I love the color pink and green together. Very cute. Boom! Next outfit. Got another pair of baggy shorts. Baggy tee. Long sleeve shirt. I like this outfit. Dress. Long sleeve. I like this outfit. I want to start wearing more dresses to school. Another long sleeve shirt and t-shirt combo with shorts. A good look. I love skirts. Long ones are fun with flowers on them. And a long sleeve. Great. A big consistency with all of these outfits I feel is usually what I do is have one half of the outfit would be something you would wear for cold weather like a long sleeve, a sweater, whatever. And then one half would be kind of a more summery piece. For example, I have this cardigan on, which is more, which is obviously a long sleeve. Then you got the more summery piece, which is the skirt. And then here you have the shorts, which you would typically wear in the summer. And then I have a fleece on, which is kind of a more fall, wintery, warm thing. Here again, you got the shorts, you got tank top, button up, and yeah, the button ups, the more long piece that you'd wear typically for colder weather. I feel like back to school outfits are honestly very similar to what I would wear in the spring, honestly. Like, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like with the layering, the long sleeve, short sleeve kind of rule, it's just very similar to what I would wear in the spring. But I feel like usually in the back to school season, it's a little bit warmer than the spring. So you, you can't really wear as many sweaters and long sleeves and stuff but i mean obviously it depends on where you live like it's very dependent on your location but for me like where i live and in canada well in canada it varies too but in toronto vancouver it's like usually a little bit warmer in september which is when we start school so yes but i feel like actually people start school in august like it's just so different everywhere and i feel like the outfits can just be so different wherever you go but this is just kind of the stuff that I like to wear back to school. But as you can see, lots of layering. I like to wear shorts. Vests are super cute because they're a good layering piece, but they don't make you too hot. So yes, the key is layering, of course. So yeah, I mean, there's not much layering going on here, but usually when the weather is very confusing and all over the place, the key is to layer, so you're always the right temperature. I like this one. I'm actually uh, crocheting a shrug right now. It's not going very well, but that's okay. I'm at least trying, I guess. And yeah, here's the next outfit. We'll dress, dress outfit. Like I said, I want to wear more dresses in the school year. I think it'd be more fun. And here's the next outfit. I once wore a red top and these overalls in a TikTok video and someone said I look like Mario. But 
who cares? I don't. Not me. I got this sweater, I thrifted it the other day, it says Evil Pebbles. I don't know what that means, but I love to wear jorts and a sweater. Good little back to school look. So this is the last outfit. Yeah. So that was the outfit video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it gave you some inspiration for the upcoming back to school season. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully.